All right, guys, welcome back to some more Hello Charlotte. Uh, yeah, it's a tic-tac-toe game. Sure. Oh, it's for this. In the last part, I ended right here when I found this, and we're in some weird maze right now. Um, separated from our friend momentarily. Hopefully he does not die. Yeah, if I'm reading this upside down, then I should turn left. Yeah, so... There. I assume I'll die if I step on the other ones. Speaking of dying, holy shit. Well, fuck it. Might as well just choose one of these doors. There doesn't appear to be any penalty yet. They just have like a... Oh, fuck me. Uh-oh. Oh, no? I thought I was trapped for a second. I feel like I'm wasting time here. I wonder if Felix is alright. We left him all alone. I'm worried too, actually. As expected from Seth the Worrywart. Let's hurry back to his side. Okay, there she is. <laughs> yeah, we should... I guess we'll see. I can't believe this is an actual option for us to give up for momentarily, just to check on him. Hey, we're fine. We're doing great. This whole situation's great. Fuck. Felix isn't there. Shit. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. Where could he be? Uh-oh. This is not good. Door's half open. Fuck's sake. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Yeah, beware of the three eye, right? I've always wondered what rabbits have inside their bellies, and I'm... Th I'm th th surprised. It wasn't cotton. Well, that's fucking sad. That's fucking bad. That was too late. Well, time to hit that rewind button again. Oh, the girl approaches me, leaving the boy like a toy he lost interest in. Why, hello, dear guest. The girl touches my cheek with her blood-soaked hand. Why are you so sad? Does it hurt anywhere? Come here. I'll sing you a get-better song. Pain, pain, go away. Don't come back another day. Fuck, run. We must leave without him. Over to my dead body. Snap out of it. He's not even a person. He's a fucking monster. What are you saying? Oh, I get it. We just have to switch the channel in to make everything right. Ellipses. Hey. Who are you talking to? There's no one but me. The very moment... The very next moment the girl looks at me as if she sees me for the first time. Let's play hide and seek. I'll close my eyes and count to sixty. Make sure you find a good place to hide, or else you're it. One, two, fuck. Uh, I can't go that way? Oh, Jesus. Fuck. I'm just panicking now. I don't know where else to... Fuck. Wait, how does this work? <laughs> Um... Okay, wait. Can I... There's a place to hide. Where are you? I don't want to be gutted alive. Please, kill me before she does, Seth. I'm begging you. Are you out of your mind? No, let's be, let's be, let's not be rude. No way. I'll do it myself. 
And she's doing it behind the door. What the fuck is happening? The countdown's still going. Okay. Umbrella Man's afternoon tea time. <laughs> the meat is not yet rotten, but the body is hollow. Yet another unsightly death. This is no good. Not only have you led the girl to the wrong path, you've completely lost control of her actions and have manipulated her. You have been manipulated by her. I cannot congratulate you on such an embarrassment of an ending. I am deeply sorry for my inappropriate behavior as a puppeteer. I hereby request you grant me another chance. That's quite a bold request, dear boy. <laughs> I'll grant it, however. Death can be rather amusing. Try as many times as you like. What? Oh! So I made a bad choice there. Oh, this game. So weird. Somehow I feel that I've been here, there before. How about one of us goes and check what's ahead? I'll stay. I'll wait here. You're not going alone, of course. My puppeteer will go with you to ensure your well-being, right? I knew you understand. Just be careful. Take this just in case. Still got the scissors. So now she can defend herself when she somehow gets wandered off into that room with that fucking weirdo. I like how it feels like I got a... This game constantly makes me think I got a game over all the time. Oh, shit. I, no, this over here is progression. I thought, like... I'm looking at my recording time. I'm just like, wow, I got an ending already. I hate when that happens, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, let's save there. Weird-ass shit. Is this the same thing? Yes, it is. No, fuck it. What happens if I stand there? It's just that. Okay. No tic-tac-toe-related death. That would've been silly. I don't even know what that could've looked like. I bet the creator thought that too. It was like, ah, fuck it. Oh shit, I'm sorry. What's wrong? I'm, maybe he said I'm worried about Charlotte? Alright. Oh god. I'm sorry for skipping that dialogue. I, I didn't... Mm. Hello there. Isn't it dangerous for a little girl to wander around here all alone? I'm waiting for my friends to come back to my side. Is that so? Well, that's a pity they won't make it in time as you will meet your death in ten minutes. That'd be bad. <laughs> Seth will get fired if I die without him by my side. Is that all... Is that all to it? I don't want to cause anyone problems. Well, well, aren't you a nice child? But Felix, will he be okay? I'm afraid he'll die shortly after. There is one way to save your friend, however. The masked man whispers something to Charlotte. Is that okay? Got it. Even though you disagree with my methods. It is the only way to save him, right? I'm too weak to do anything alone. The man pets Charlotte's head. Don't blame yourself for a single thing, child. Well then. So there's trouble afoot. Um, yeah, I wish I saw that dialogue beforehand. But, uh, we could go back to Charlotte. Unless we... Okay, I'm only wasting time here. Guide me back, please. Sure, just a moment. Oh, her eyes are yellow. Uh, human body is such a fragile thing. I can't just apologize if I accidentally break it, can I? Well then, what do we have here? All this junk is no good. Scissors? Not bad. But not the best option either. 
Such a shame I'll get this pretty dress dirty. She's possessed by that fucker. Don't. Oh. Wait. Huh. Hi, do you want to play hide and seek with me and my friends? You see, I'm really bored. That's right. Let's play a game. Boredom's the worst, isn't it? <laughs> Open your eyes. Here come the scissors. Oh, fuck. It's a lot of blood. Who is this person? What was I... I just have to switch the channel to make everything all right. Right? Hey. Hi there. Oh, she's right on top of him, too. Don't make me a murderer. Oh my god. Some fucked up shit. Uh, alright, go this way. Uh, that way. Make a way back. Charlotte isn't here. <laughs> oh god. There's that room. Now that's covered in blood. Charlotte? Charlotte? Felix, Seth, here you are. Good thing you're safe and sound. Are you hurt anywhere? And, and what in the world are you stuffing into the incinerator? Ah, uh, the blood isn't mine. While you were away, I figured I'd stuff meat chunks we saw earlier in here. Is that so? Are you alright? Yeah. Sorry for worrying you. Jeez, I was worried about you. But here you are, covered in blood and more obnoxiously cheerful than ever. Well, sorry about that. Wait. You were worried about me? That's something new. You make it sound like I'm a jerk. Well, thank you for trusting me, Seth. You are truly my friend. I am just a puppeteer, not a friend. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Then you're the best puppeteer ever. Let's go, everyone. Cool, now we don't have to sacrifice uh, one of us to get through this door. It's open. Charlotte? Hey, are you really alright? You are spacing out. Or are you are spacing out. It's nothing. Liar. Fine. You do not have to tell me what happened. Here, take my hand. Charlotte takes Felix's hand. She's shaking. Let's go in. Right. Turning back. Pretty music. So, what now? Hey, Felix, yes? Can you tell me more about what you were looking for? I know I'm not as smart as you, but I'll try to understand. Well, all I know is, is that the people here are called. Uh. Pinthi... Pinth... Uh... Pinthios? Uh, who were created by an oracle, whom they call their god, at least used to. Pinthios... Pinthias are extremely powerful. They can alter reality to their will, which most likely resulted in different dimensions being created. All right, guys, I'm trying to start this new year by not mispronouncing things. And I looked it up. Uh, Pythias is how it supposedly is pronounced. Pythias. From what I've gathered, every species perceived them differently. Otherwise, they wouldn't look so... Uh, so human? Right, to you. 
The last time I visited there were much more of them, yet we barely met anyone on our way. This place is a mess. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Perhaps something bad happened. Ooh. So yeah, I actually had to look it up and like... Contamination warning, organic tissue head. When I looked it up, I couldn't find like words, like a worded pronunciation. Like I had to look at a video about how to pronounce it. Oh shit. A dead Pythia. Pincia. It's fucking Pincia. Or Piscia. <laughs> Word thing. Another dead body. It's not moving. They all look the same. We'd probably look the same to them as well, you know. Having white hair being dragged across blood, like, that must really suck. There are so many of them. So what is the difference between the two and the four-eyed one? Slaughterhouse number two. Slaughterhouse one. Do we want to go into this one? Sure. Enjoy your vacation with style. There's, it's always here when you need it most. Comes with two blades. We're not taking that. Now we don't know how to use it. We well, have a point. I have made marks in gym class. Yeah, I'm not taking one. Ways to find out if your neighbor is possessed by God. Shoot him and see what happens. How about no? So we could have... Could have actually taken a weapon there, I guess. A we'll save point. She is us, we are her. How about no? How about it's a bunch of crap? Is this anything? No. It's like a weird part of the house. The third. There's there's no one in these rooms, only the corpses. Well, only one corpse. Weird. I wonder what happened here. None of them have, like, items on them. A rotting corpse. That one's been there for a while. Maybe she's just sleeping. Maybe. What the fuck? How the fuck was I supposed to know? <laughs> just a punching noise, like... Really? Good shit. Okay, no, it's this one. Um, yeah, that's messed up. Can I? No, there is no way. You know, fuck it, we'll try it. Uh, oh, we made it. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Three, seven, five, two, nine. So we were supposed to come here anyway. Obtained a note. Dead. Rotting corpse. It looked impossible, but it... That's impossible, but at least I got the numbers. So you got the password, but you had, you had to die first. Alright, so fuck that house. Like that sorority over there. Of murders. And that's a save point right here. It's not moving. What about over here? There's another house. So what's the deal with this one? Door won't open. Fair enough. Uh, I have six digit numbers, so... Unless I'm supposed to get, you know, four numbers out of that six, then I don't know. They all have same faces. Okay, the second. Oh! Wait a minute. Well then, that, that explains a lot. 
All right. So you're the first. Fourth. So it's over there. That's a, a very unique way of doing like a number puzzle. Uh, four nine something one. Uh, but that one room was an eight, so I want to assume that the third number is eight. So let's try it. Four, nine, eight, one. Hello. Follower mask obtained. Get one today for free. That's cute, Snow Mask. Puts the cute and execute. An absolute must have for all ladies and gentlemen. How do I look? Rather menacing. <laughs> I don't know if it's creepy or cute that they're both wearing it. Okay. The fuck? So... Okay, here we go. Uh... Eight... Five... Seven... Two, nine. Oh, fuck's sake. Wait, did I miss... Oh, I put five for some reason. I wrote a, I wrote a three, but to, from here it looked like a five. My handwriting's shit. <laughs> Everyone's born to execute. Christmas morning will be happier with a shuck. The fuck. Coming to execution out today. The kids love it. Sign up for the God Hunt. It's calling us. Feeling oppressed? Your life is a wreck? You did nothing wrong. Get your revenge by joining the God Hunt today. Will we get to eat the gods? God Eater? An all family adventure. God Hunt. I just want to see all this other stuff. Buy our air powered guns for an unforgettable fun experience. Wisman Gun. Wiseman Gun. Barrels of fun. When you can't sleep, don't count sheep. Count on your chainsaw. Place is a lot bigger than I thought. Let's check out this door. Television room. Door's locked. Okay. So now we explore this one. That is cool. So that's what they portray oracles. Uh, so that's how they portray oracles here. She's beautiful. Just for your information, oracles do not have a physical form nor a gender. The one depicted here is no more than a young Piscian priest. Hmm. Whatever. Fight for equality. Oh boy. I think I've heard something behind the door. I hope it's not executioners. Right now, we are the executioners, remember? So, just play along. Oh, they're all dead. Maybe she's sleeping? One of the dismembered bodies is moving. She's still alive. Well, well, hello. Dear executioners. You're so tiny. Yet, you're the ones who came to end the life of our latest of our last child how ironic come forth and swing your blade don't make us wait any longer uh, I'm very sorry but we won't harm you in any way you won't how come well for starters we're not ones we're not ones of your kind we take off our masks the girl extends her weak hands to my face just two eyes. You are merely a traveler. Um, am I missing something? Hush. We are speaking to a real oracle, the creator of all that exists in this universe. This body is just a dying vessel. It is an honor to meet you. You seem to be a good child. We believe we've known your parent once. <laughs> Girl coughs up blood. You should leave these lands, for we do not have much time left. What about this girl? 
she can no longer be saved. But we, we wish to be with our children until the very end. But they're only corpses. We should leave, Charlotte. Right. Will we meet again? Seek and you shall find. No. Oh. I guess that door is now unlocked now. Ah, it does. Wow. Now I keep forgetting. It's this TV to save. Okay. The final TV. Some I have a feeling it will be our last channel we visit. Well, it might not be far f from truth. Well, then let's go. I feel like I have to apologize. For what? Many things. Running away, putting you in danger, making you come here. I found what I was looking for, yet I feel no satisfaction at all. I didn't have the slightest idea of what happened in this place. I still don't. I thought Uncle could recognize my achievements if I wrote a paper on oracles, a phenomenal entity. Yet this oracle and their universe reek of death. I was twenty billions years late. You must be thinking how meaningless this journey was. Feel free to laugh at me. It's alright, bud. It's alright, bro. It's okay. Please stop blaming yourself. Isn't everything in our life pretty much meaningless? We're so tiny, aren't we? Like worms or maggots, even. Yet we consider ourselves important and do everything with, to benefit ourselves. Isn't that what's laughable? Besides, I like going on adventures with you. For me, it's like being with a friend. Pfft. What's up with the pseudo-intellectual monologue? Don't try to seem smarter than you are, human maggot. Aren't, aren't we already friends? If you say so. <clears throat> what are we waiting for? Let's go in. How sweet. Applause, applause. <laughs> welcome, welcome, dear guests. We are waiting for you. Now we can finally have a talk. Well then, did you enjoy the show? Was it not to your liking? The show? Well, of course, all of the worlds you visited. There, there used to be an infinite number of channels, you know. That's the premium. Uh, now they've turned into mere recordings of their past glory. If I may ask, what happened to this world? Many, many things. A long time ago, we used to be called a god, although we never were one. Uh, our own children raised a knife on us. We used to have a thousand hands, yet they cut off all of them. And now we are powerless. We used to observe the world with billion eyes of ours, yet they gouged out every single one, and now we are blind. We used to walk by leaps and bounds through the worlds we've created, yet we can no longer make a single step as our legs were taken away. Fuck's sake. The creations we dearly, we dearly loved, regardless of their deeds, destroyed themselves, and now we are alone. Yet we forgave them for their sin. And we forgive you. You see, the universes we've created is dying universe we created. Nothing exists anymore. All we can do is indulge in the memories of the past, no matter how distorted they are. Soon we will fall apart. So will this land and those walking on it. That would be troubling. We absolutely have to come back by tomorrow's morning. Well, there is a way, human child. Do you wish to try? Input error? What do I have to do? Put your hands on the screen, would you? Are you sure about this? Well, there's no other way we can leave. Didn't you hear the oracle? You would not have listened to me either way, would you? 
even though I don't want to cause trouble for anyone, in the end, I'm quite a troublesome person, aren't I? I put my hands on the screen. The Oracle, no, the god of this world, put their palms to match mine on the other side of the screen. Watch this backfire, like, badly. I can only vaguely remember what happened next. I accepted the god in my heart and we walked home, hand in hand. Everything that I was became her, and everything that she was became a part of me. Together we said goodnight to the dying world. All the life, the planets, the stars, the black holes, even the atoms have ceased to exist. One by one, the channel switched off. That TV is bleeding. The Oracle used my body as a vessel and used up all the remaining power she had to bring us home. Thanks to that, we were able to make it back home safely. While we were away, not a single second passed in our world. That was quite a story, my dear, to personally meet an oracle. Oracle. Even a dying one. What a great luck you've run into. Well, who would have known? Do you always have to wear that creepy mask when you see me? I know you're using Father's body as a container to talk to me anyway. Easy with the tongue, dear. I thought it would be inconsiderate of me to have a chat with you while using someone you know as a vessel, but if you insist, the Umbrella Man takes his mask off. That's not creepy at all. Better now? Yep, much better. Your eyes have such a pretty color. Say, Mr. Umbrella Man? Hmm? Do you, do you happen to know the person I've met in the TV world? Why are you so sure there was anyone there at all? Well, that's because I've committed an unimaginable sin, yet I vaguely can remember it. As if I watched it from the side. Your naivety never ceases to amuse me. Of course, we had to edit your source code shortly after you came back. I can't tell her the truth, can I? You're talking as if we're in a video game. Most of the worlds are code-based, my dear. As you say. But why would you do that? Those memories were unnecessary. Remember, we do not want you to fail your education program. It's already messed up enough with an oracle becoming a part of you. I'm sure Mr. Seth would be greatly upset if you two were to go around causing havoc when he isn't looking. We both... No, that I'm not like that, sir. <clears throat> By the way, I'd rather surprise that you were able to contain a godlike entity without all of your life-supporting systems collapsing. Probably she was too weakened to do that much damage to my body. Well, she brought it onto herself. She took the risk. What became of them now? She's still sleeping. I wish we talked more. Even after seeing her memories, I still don't know much about her. The oracles... What exactly are they, really? One could compare them to stars. Reaching the end of their lives, they gradually lose all their power and become infantile white dwarfs. Think for yourself. Would a god capable of creating new life from zero care for such insignificant beings like you? Aren't you talking to me right now? Good one. Well, this isn't, gr uh, isn't that great that you've met a new friend. Now take your pills and go to sleep. We want to want to nod off on your lessons, though they only postpone your unemployment status. Thanks for finding an hour to spend with me. Good night, Mr. Um Umbrella Man. Good night, little Charlotte. Received pills. She just collapsed on the floor? Oh, no. What? Oh, that was the back of her head. Oh. Eat these pills off the floor. Wait, or is it in my inventory? I can't access my inventory. Um. Okay, there we. What? 
Okay, that was weird. Now I can take the pills. Took the pills. So I, I clicked the game, and now I can access the menu. Because I clicked off screen? Okay. And now my house looks normal. Hi, Mad Cat. Huh. Yeah, everything looks pretty normal. Dear Charlotte, I'll be home late. Yeah. So what does everybody else look like? Doors locked. Fuck's sake. I'm too sleepy to wander around. Let's sleep. Okay. Go to sleep, little Charlotte. Teddy bear. With no murderous intent. I wonder if I'll see space fish in my dreams. Good night, Charlotte. Good night, Felix. Good night, Umbrella Man and Oracle. Good night, Guardian Angel who watches over me. Oh, okay. So that was, yeah, a rather short game. And like I said, the other one costs $4.50 on itch.io, so I will get around to be playing that. Uh, thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed playing this game as much as I enjoyed making it. See you next time in Episode 2. The answers will be there. At the ring. Cool stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, this is definitely one of those really weird games that I really enjoy. The art style is amazing. And, like, it's weird that the game actually didn't start off with, like, a warning for explicit, you know, gore imagery stuff. Like, on the Itch.io page, I believe it does, but not at the start of the game. But, you know, uh, but, you know, my channel is known for playing these kind of violent games, so it's whatever. But other than that, uh, I really enjoyed this, so I hope you guys look forward to when I play episode 2 eventually. Probably not right away, but, you know, I like to just fill in, you know, with different stuff, so keep the variety going. So other than that, I hope you guys are having a good day, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.